Now, uh, what a mammoth task going through all of this archive footage for a starter. I, I'm an archive junkie, so I like it, yeah. Yeah, it's a challenge that I really enjoy. It's just, you know, it's the closest thing we've got to time travel, watching archive footage. The, the interesting thing that I found with the documentary, with it being in voiceover, it felt very intimate. Exactly. Um, did, it, did What came first? Did the contact come first or did the interviews come first? How did it work? A bit of both, a bit of both. I mean, I, I spent a month looking through the, the, the accumulated archive. Um, at the same time, the guys were coming and, and putting down some, doing some recordings of, of just stuff that they remembered from the time. So. I used a bit of that and then it, I also had a thing where I would um, cut a sequence and then I'd bring them down one at a time to look at it and get them to kind of reflect on how they react to it. And the interesting thing as well for me um, is it's a social commentary of what was happening in the 80s, yeah. um, not just about the, the band and I think that's very important because we yeah. get a, a better gravitas, don't we really? Well I think you've got to know, you know, where they came from and, and that includes when they came from, what the what the political climate was like at the time. And so much of the sea so much of what happened, 7980 has kind of its genesis, you know, that, that's the genesis of the society that we live in today, the culture that we live in today. So um, yeah, I really wanted to kind of show where that came from. And from the beginning of the project to the end of the project, has your opinion changed of Spandau Ballet? Um, yeah, I think it has. <laughs> <laughs> I won't ask you which way. I love them all. I do.